Welcome back everybody! Um, this is the place I wanted to show you in the last episode because I think it looks really nice. But then um, somehow my recording crashed. Uh, the sound went totally nuts and I had to, to stop the recording. I don't know why, I still don't know why. And I hope we will not face this problem again today. But yeah, I wanted to show you this. Uh, have a look around. Oh, an Enderman. Hello there. Could you come over, please? Or will you die in the water? Come on. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Okay. Um, yeah, well, um, I wanted to show you this place because it looks really cool. We have waterfall. Yeah, more than one waterfall. And... Um, yeah, last episode I went into one. Whoa, oh, that was quick. Um, I went in one direction for about thirty minutes to honor her J Mac and Farlands or Rust. And today uh, I will have to get back. And I think it's okay. Uh, it's raining. Nice. Um, I think it's okay if I walk at night. And I will not talk the whole time. Okay, now we will. Okay, the rain is somewhat annoying. I uh, think I, I will go to sleep real quick. But first, let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, okay. Let's sleep in the rain. Okay. And a new day, a bright day, and the rain is gone, and we should eat. And I will head back to spawn in this direction. And I will answer just one question, because I got a follow-up question. Um, I answered 11 questions last time, and the last question was about um, me and me being pretty modest. Because uh, I was asked what I would do if I yeah, somehow won a million dollars or a million euros. And I think I yeah, wouldn't really know how to spend it. I would save a little money for me. That's for sure. Pretty boring, but that's the way it is. And I would donate a lot of money, I guess, because that's what I do now. And... I could do it more and yeah why I think I am a modest person I guess and uh, hmm um, let's try to find out why I can only guess I don't know for sure but my personality well he has formed somehow and maybe it was formed uh, for my family uh, because I am one of five children in fact I have uh, I had I have four siblings and my father didn't earn too much money I mean yeah I think I could say that he was we are we're definitely not rich um, and I somehow learned to be modest I think um, well in retrospective we had everything we needed really and I I'm, now I wonder how my father and my mother could yeah, how they managed that. And, oh, we have a boat, great. Really don't know, it's really, um, yeah, amazing. So imagine five children, hungry and wanting to play and whatnot. And well, so that may be one reason why I don't need too much stuff. I mean, I don't need a car, I need a house. I have, I have enough money from, well, right now so what else could be a reason for that um, yeah me probably donating a lot of money if I, I won a million euros um, I uh, was a member of youth Red Cross when I was younger, um, I think, oh, water temple, I should remember that one, if that's not the temple I know, or no, it can be, must be a new one. Okay, so let's see, we are at 
uh, where is it? Damn it. 600, 4,000. Ah, I think I'll find it again. Um, yeah, so um, Red Cross is known as a charity organization, and um, I started when I was 18, I think. Yeah, I think. And I was there for 10 years or so, and yeah, I did a lot of stuff there. We raised money. Um, we, uh, oh, oh, oh damn it, what's it called in English? Flohmarkt in German, I don't know. We organized that and um, yet sometimes we went from door to door to collect money and well, I, I think the time at Red Cross somehow influenced me and um, yeah, made me aware of, of people who are not as good off as I am. So that may also be a reason and Maybe it's also a personal trait, I'm, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I like to help people. It may sound uh, yeah, strange and um, maybe you know people um, who forget themselves when, when helping others. That's somehow my trait and I don't regard it as a, as a, as a good quality, to be honest, because um, uh, well, you know, you, you sometimes you try to help people who don't want help, yeah. So you somehow uh, intrude their lives, and um, yeah. So you, you can be an annoying person. You, you maybe you want to help, but uh, people are fed up and they don't want help, and maybe not from you. And um, so yeah, I sometimes exaggerate that um, yeah but anyway that may be one more reason um, why I would donate a lot of money because I, I want to help people um, and if it's a good cause for a good cause then it's even more probable that I would donate money yeah that's it so anything else let's think um, don't want to forget any everything anything something oh nice cake let's a quick look maybe we can grab something nice really quick okay it's not uh, okay just just a tunnel so let's get out yeah um Anything else? Anything else? Maybe you tell me if if you know me, people. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, if you know me, and you have a theory why I am modest when it comes to spending money, because uh, you know me well, tell me. Drop me a comment uh, here at YouTube or somewhere else, and I will. Uh, yeah, try to include that comment in one of the next videos. Okay, horses. Um, they're here. Okay, so 600 is an X600 is a nice uh, access to go. So I will head back to spawn and I will meet you there in a flash. All right, welcome back. I think I must be close to spawn because I've been walking in that jungle for quite a while and um, this jungle is yeah, what the border to our spawn village I guess um, yeah well, oh yeah right you see there it is right okay so what are we going to do today um, I will show you what I I've been doing in the last few weeks that I went off camera but first of all I have to show you something um, that I didn't like I didn't like at all I have to show you um, a, a sacrilege is it called sacrilege in English I don't know I 
probably make myself quite ridiculous calling it a sacrilege if there is no such a word. But anyway, there is uh, has something been done against the gods, so to speak. Um, yeah, it's right around this corner, and you may remember in November I did a monument for the Simpsons because they got 25 years old and I built them, yeah, well, a monument. And now look how it looks over there. The Simpsons have made, been made the Creepsons by this person who lives in this house, I guess. Um, I will have to find a decent way to retaliate, but not today. Your lucky day. Uh, today I want to show you um, a village that I built uh, yeah, quite some way over there. And that's why we'll go and take a horse. And to take a horse, we need a saddle, of course. One here. And which one? Oh, not Frankie. Frankie was my first horse. Frankie will stay here. We'll take this guy. I don't know if he's any good. No. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, yeah, you can jump very well. Uh, okay, that's stuff for another episode. Um, yeah, we have a railway station over here but I will not show you where it leads today today we are going to follow this road to yeah the village I built because uh, right here we are on 1.7 territory and we don't have granite we don't have andesite we don't have rabbits and um, we need to get to 1.8 territory in order to get all that stuff and it's uh yeah no, it, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's far away so to speak to put it simple not that far away but um i built a village halfway um uh, just because i could no um i will show you what I, what i mean in a second so this is my village. Um, I, I call it Grass Village, and this uh, uh, sign probably doesn't make any sense at all. But I think the first one, fair, is Gaelic for grass, and Clachan, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, is village, I guess. I looked it up, and probably you can slap both of them together, but yeah, that's. The name of the village and it is meant to be a uh, grass village and you can see why because there's grass on the roofs and I found it the design in whoops one of the videos of BWO but I changed the buildings a bit and I added stuff and so it's not totally BWO it's a little bit otaki as well and yeah well why did I build this village? Because I like this design and I wanted to build houses with it and somehow it became a village. Yeah, so that's that's a village has lots of functional houses, one for stone because you can go down here in the quarry uh, where you can get stony stuff and what else do we have? A building for wood so you can imagine the forest that lives here uh, is it called yeah i think it's forest in english and what would the forest do it could go out here go to the trees chop them down plant some new trees and get all the wood back but my favorite building i think is this one it's a blacksmith and there's nothing too fancy inside but i really like this place the anvil and the furnaces and the coal that has been spilled and the coal blocks over here I really like that I think I should oh no I sh we should take this maybe that way as a picture for this episode then over here you can see we have 
all the farm stuff and the farmer building nothing too special in here this is a bit different because this building has a second floor which is kind of nice and then over here we have one more cool building it's yeah a butcher as you can see and the butcher has a cellar and now guess what he does down here hmm this is meant to be blood so if we just we just do it i think let's get a cow okay who wants to come with me don't be shy don't look away oh uh, don't look away oh you looked away ah you looked at me come with me we have a lucky winner so come here get okay. oh they can't don't oh, yeah they can't okay come in here come in here little cow Let's close the doors because your siblings probably don't want to see what's going on right now. And maybe you read about Minecraft being, uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's not allowed to play Minecraft in Turkey. It's, yeah, it's forbidden. And I guess this is the reason why, because you can do that and a cow is dead. I think it's totally ridiculous, but anyway, uh, leather in here, beef in here. So that is what the butcher does. And oh, perfect timing. Sun is setting, and we can go over to the hostel. And yeah, you could grab some chickens over here, and you could cook them over here, and you could eat them over here. <laughs> and when you've done all that, you can go upstairs and go to sleep here, or maybe you like it better here. Take off your armor, go to bed, get up, gaze at the beautiful scenery, and that's my village. So there's not much to be done, but what I will do in the next episode is, yeah, I will show you how to build one of these buildings and I will uh, build library kind of thing maybe a channing station and i will put it in one of these so that's what i'm going to do next time i hope you will join me and if not just tell me why you don't want to join me because that helps me out tremendously but anyway see you next time bye